Hello everyone, my name is Ana Muñoz. I am a manufacturing consultant here at Maya Technologies and in today's video we are going to see how to map from scratch in Acumarica. Let's see! Now we are going to review the process of importing data from an Excel template into Acumarica. This capability is quite relevant when we need to import many records from an Excel file in any of the Acumarica screen such as importing customers, contacts, supplier, sales order, purchase order, production orders, account payable, account receivable. In almost any of the Acumarica screens, there is a possibility of performing this process. To do this, we will use this template. In this example, we will import customers. So in the template, we can see information regarding these records, such as customer ID, name, the class to which they belong, city, country, and state. We also have details such as address, phone number, first name, last name, and email. To avoid manually entering each of these records, we are going to use the data import method. The data import consists of three steps, which we can find in the integration model. The first step is to create a data provider. The second step is to create an import scenario. And the third step is to perform the data import. Now let's begin with the example. The first step is to create a data provider. Here we will need to name it. Now we have to select the type of data provider. Acumarica offers these options as data providers. We can load data from an SV file, bring in data from HubSpot, Salesforce, or even from XNL. For this occasion, we will use the Excel data provider type. Now we have to save it. And the next step is to upload our Excel file. Once we upload it, we will click on Save. And now we have to go to Schema section. And here we will click on Fill. In here, we will click in fill. In here, now we have to select this option. And we see that the columns we have in our Excel file are also present here. We have the customer ID, class name, etc. Everything we have in our Excel file is also in our data provider. Now let's mark the ones that are active and safe. This will be our first step. The second step is to create an import scenario where we also have to create a new one, name it, and we have to say, give it the same name. We need to specify the screen name to which this record will be directed. And we know that the name of the screen is customers. We have to select the correct one. There is IR2300. And now the system will show us the object. And we can save. Once we have saved the record and we have filled information about the port scenario name, the screen name, the provider, and the provided object, we can start mapping the data. To perform automatic data mapping, we will need to complete three sections. The first one is the target object. The second one is the field action name. And the third one is source file or value. These last sections correspond to the columns that we have in our Excel file. We have here customer ID, customer name, phone number, which must those in our template. To map the data, it is important that we have a detailed understanding of how the screen to which we are importing the data. In this case, the customer screen. Acumarica provides a button that allows us to access and view how the data is organized at any time. Acumarica divides information in each screen into sections. For example, in the customer screen, the first section is the customer summary where we can find fields like customer ID, customer status, and customer class. 
There is also a general section with subsections like primary contact and additional information, as well as address information. Each of these sections is known as the destination or target object, which is our first section to identify for mapping purposes. Let's start by mapping the first field, which will be customer summary. The field will be customer ID. And the value we need to bring is the customer ID from our Excel template. We can save now. And we can start adding the different lines that we have. The second one is going to be also in customer summary. And it's going to be the account name. And this one is going to be customer name. We also need to have the checkbox active. And we can continue adding all the lines. This, uh, the third one is customer class. And then we have the address for this one. Instead of customer summary, we are going to select general and account address. This one is be it's going to be address line one, line one. And in here we can select the address. Now we have the Siri that is also located in general account address. And this one it's called Siri. And that it's also a name that we have in our Excel file. Now we can continue with the country that is also located under general and account address. And it's also named country in our Excel file. The next one it's gonna be the state, also located under general and account address state and state now we have the information regarding the primary contact for this case instead of account address we are going to change it to primary contact and in here we have first name first name and it's going to be the same for the last name. Last name. And last name. And now we can have, we can go with the email that is going to be located under general additional account information. So a new line. General additional account information. Email. And email now and last we have the phone number that is also located under general and additional account information phone one and one and with this we have oral mapping created so we can save Remember that that was the second step, so now we can go to import the scenario. Once we have all the information prepared, we can go to import the scenario. So we have to go again to integration and select the option of import by scenario. In here, we will need to search for the name of the scenario that we are working on. And we have to select it. And we need to prepare it. We have to wait. And now we can import. It's going to take time because there are a lot of records in the Excel file. And those are all the steps that you need to create in order to mapping from scratch.
Thank you for watching our Mapping from Scratch video. We hope it was informative and helpful for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest content.